welcome back to The Horror of the Horror with your hostess with the most is Jenna as always. Welcome back. Thanks for checking me out as always. I love you guys. So today I am going to be revisiting a couple of movies that I actually have already reviewed like a year ago. Uh, but I just, I love these two movies and everything. And I figure it's kind of appropriate considering we just lost... George A. Romero, earlier this week, I'm still, like, so many of the other fans of his in the horror community, I am still, like, <sighs> but uh, I'm going to be talking about the original Night of the Living Dead, and also the 1990 Tom Savini remake of Night of the Living Dead. So, basically, uh, we all know the story, basically, of this uh, you know, Barbara and her brother going to visit their mother's grave or not, and then slowly these zombies start coming after them, and Barbara gets away, blah, 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 ends up in the house, and then we are introduced to our other characters and everything. So, I'm not really going to get too much into the story or anything, because I feel, like I said, um, you know, a lot of people are aware of these movies, a lot of people have seen them and everything, uh, if you even if you haven't seen this movie, I feel like a, a lot of people still kind of know what the story is about and everything. But uh, these movies, oh, let's talk about the original a little bit first, though. So the original, uh, what I liked about the original, uh, first off, uh, having um, Dwayne Jones as Ben, uh, you know, that was a pretty big deal. I know that that was something that was not intentional. It, I know Romero was not looking for an African-American actor. I think he was actually just kind of, you know, was looking for actually a white actor. And then, you know, in comes uh, Dwayne Jones. You know, Romero loved him and everything. And it was like, you know, let's cast him as Ben, which I think was brilliant. Uh, kind of an unintentional social commentary, especially for that time. Because this movie came out in 1968, the original and, you know, for all of you uh, youngins, because, uh, like, I was alive back then, but just to give you guys an idea, I mean, this was at a time where there's a lot of racial tensions, um, a lot of, obviously, the war was going on, Vietnam War was going on and everything, so there's a couple of, like, you know, um, references, a lot of people kind of, like, reference the war with the original and everything, kind of, like, uh, you know, and kind of rightfully so, with the zombies and everything, which I'll get into in a second. But uh, I think it was it was brilliant that they had uh, Dwayne as the as Ben as the main character, and uh, you know to have an African American man in the lead role and take charge, take authority, and everything during that time period was brilliant, brilliant. Uh, still to this day, I feel like. Uh, you know, even now with like, you know, all like these racial tensions and everything that that's still prevalent. Unfortunately, that's still uh, prevalent in uh, a lot of areas. I hate the fact that that, you know, is still an issue and everything, but it is. But I feel like people can still watch this movie, the original one, and still kind of be like rooting for for Ben and everything. Um, and it's something that I don't really like, and I, I feel like I've kind of started feeling this as I've gotten older. And I know a lot of people, uh, this is kind of like one of their big gripes, is uh, Judith O'Day's character, Barbara, who just throughout the entire movie just does not really evolve or anything, just stayed very kind of like, pussy and scared and everything. Um, and I know that that originally was not the plan for her character. I know Romero really was going to have Barbara kind of be the one to... Uh, you know, take charge, you know, lead the lead the crowd and everything, lead their little group and everything. It's unfortunate we didn't get that in the original, um, but thankfully in the remake, you know, that was kind of fixed, uh, which I will also get to it in a second. Uh, but going back to the zombies real quick in this one, um, I, uh, you know, uh, kind of bringing up the war again, uh, you know, I know I've heard people kind of like, make this connection with the zombies and stuff of kind of like being a product of the Vietnam War, Vietnam War and everything. Uh, rightfully so, because I feel like, uh, especially looking back, um, and this is really kind of the time when people really started to 
understand that any individual going into combat like that, into battle of any kind like that for a war in military, come back and they're not quite the same. Like just the uh, stress it puts on the mind and body and everything, uh, all the things that we know about now with like um, post-traumatic stress and everything. Uh, I feel like the zombies can definitely kind of be, uh, you know, a little bit of commentary on that. Uh, sorry, kind of a little, bra- blah, 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 blah. A little bit of uh, a brain fart. Uh, you guys know I have those all the time. What else? But anyway, but uh, the zombies I definitely feel like are, uh, can be, uh, you know, maybe I am reading too much into this. I'm not sure. But, you know, I do feel like the zombies definitely are kind of like the product of the soldiers coming back of just like in real life. And they're not quite the same. There's something different about these men and women coming back. You know, like I said, with the uh, post-traumatic stress and everything. Um, But yeah, so, I mean, that's kind of the original in a nutshell. Uh, So with the 1990 remake, uh, like I said, directed by Tom Zabini, I know Romero uh, did the screenplay. It was pretty much the same. They used like the same screenplay, I think, and everything. So fortunately, you know, we were able to kind of reuse the script from the first one, from the original. Um, and I really, really enjoy this remake. I do. Um, and there's not too many remakes that I'm like overly, overly excited about. But this one I genuinely enjoy. I feel like the things that Romero didn't do in the first one, uh, in the original, in his vision... Uh, Savini definitely did in his remake, you know, for example, you know, he had Barbara's character, or the Barbara character, actually, you know, she starts off like, oh my god, like, you know, kind of quiet, just very, like, scared and everything, but she instantly starts to take charge, you know, and for a couple of scenes there, you think she might be uh, maybe losing it a little bit, but um, eventually she just totally takes charge becomes a strong, strong young woman in this uh, crisis, in this, you know, thing that's going on around them that they have no idea what's going on. And also, I like that they uh, have Tony Todd as Ben. They kept the African-American character, and he as well, uh, just like in the original with Dwayne Jones as Ben, was a strong, fearless leader and was still African-American. I don't know why I had to use say still African-American, but they still went with an African-American actor who was brilliant. Um, And something that I actually uh, noticed uh, with this, and um, like, I don't know how many people make this connection. Um, And I know that this version came out two years before Candyman, but when we first see Ben and he comes out of the truck you know, he steps out and, you know, down comes that big old uh, hook or whatever. I'm like, oh my God, Candyman. It, like I said, I know this came out two years before Candyman, but I was just like, oh my God, pre-Easter egg, hello. Uh, but I had to get that out there. I'm sorry. Let me know if any of you guys make that connection with the remake uh, with Candyman. I, you know, I don't know. I just think that's kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, so the, uh, you know... He did little things, you know, like that. Sweeney did little things to really stay true with the original and everything. And really just kind of, I guess, in a way, just to pay homage to Romero and do what he intended to do in the original back in 1968, which I think is awesome. Awesome. Um, You know, and, you know, like I said, this is one of the few remakes that I enjoy. Um, Oh, and the ending, too. The ending of the 1990 remake slightly different. I mean, it's pretty much the same, but there's just a couple of small, uh, pretty significant uh, things that I feel I like better than the original. Uh, So obviously we know in the end, uh, both Ben ends up getting killed. Uh, The first one, the original one, uh, I mean, he wasn't a zombie or anything. He just kind of hit out in the cellar and everything, the basement, and then came up uh, when Barbara came back with help. Um, and one of the, like, hillbilly guys shoots him and is like, oh, killed another one, killed another one. Didn't even check to see if he was a zombie. In the remake, um, it, we come to find out that Ben, unfortunately, has to come to becoming a zombie, has the zombie virus. 
Uh, so he comes through the basement door. We see he's a zombie and everything. And uh, instead of one of the hillbillies do it, uh, we actually see Barbara shoot him, which I like because you kind of get that throughout this movie, even though they didn't know each other, uh, these two characters didn't know each other, but they created such a bond and such a respect for one another that she ends up uh, shooting him. And I feel like that's appropriate. I, I like that. And she just, she did it. So that way she didn't have to see her newfound friend be taken out in the back and put into like a pit with other zombies to for fun or whatever, just to watch them like go at each other. So I, I like that ending because like I said, you know, you, They've created such a bond and such a respect for each other by the end of that movie that that I felt like that was appropriate that she shot him in the 1990 remake. So, but that's my little kind of like, you know, review and everything. Um, let me know what you guys think um, of either version or both versions, if you'd like, if you've seen both of them. Uh, but till next time, you guys, as always, stay creepy, classy, and a little bit sassy.